Martina. Blair. Bridget. In this video, we're going to show you how to carry out a titration. First, we're going to show you the process in its entirety, then we'll go over some of the specific details. A titration is a very precise analytical method and gives a very precise result, so it requires care throughout the process. Because of this, it is important to have a well-organized workspace and clean glassware. It is also vital that you are paying full attention. Start with a flask containing the exact volume of the solution you're titrating against. In most cases, you will also have to add a few drops of an appropriate indicator. Hold the flask under the burette and hold the tap of the burette with your other hand. Gently swirl the flask while you slowly open the tap, adding the solution in the burette to the flask in a controlled manner. Once you notice a change in color, begin adding solution more and more slowly as you swirl. You should eventually slow until you're adding only a drop at a time. Once the change in color persists, despite continued swirling, you've reached the end point, so stop adding solution and take a reading. Begin by adding a few drops of an appropriate indicator to your reaction flask and swirl gently to mix. Remove the waste beaker and place your flask underneath the burette. It's also a good idea to place a piece of white paper underneath the flask as it will make it easier to see the color change. Keeping one hand on the flask and one hand on the burette, open the tap as you swirl the flask. Initially, the solution can be added quickly, but you must keep swirling and pay close attention to the reaction mixture in the flask. As soon as you notice any difference in color, either a color fading or a color change, close the tap and swirl vigorously. At this point, add the solution drop by drop. It is important not to rush when approaching the end point of the reaction. It's very easy to overshoot the end point and get the wrong result, so take your time. It's a good idea to rinse the tip of the burette and inside of the flask with distilled water to ensure that all titrated solution has been added to the reaction mixture. During this step, the flask should be shaken more vigorously. Once the color change has become permanent, you have reached the end point. Adding solution dropwise is difficult, so be careful when opening the tap. You can also add half drops by closing the tap of the burette while a drop forms on the tip. This half drop should be rinsed into the flask with distilled water. The end point is when the color change has just occurred. This is shown here by the faint pink on the left. The flask on the right shows a stronger color because the end point has been overshot, which means the result is less accurate.